Good morning. Uh, my name is Sergio Nunes, and I'm here to present our work entitled News Lines, Narrative Visualization of News Stories. This work was developed by Mariana Costa during her master thesis in informatics, engineering, and computation at FIUP. It was developed and supported within the context of the Text to Story project funded by the Portuguese Foundation for Science and Technology. Visual representations have the potential to improve information understanding. We explored this idea in the development of this prototype, News Lines, an open source web-based prototype that focuses on the narrative visualization of news content. Journalistic narratives are often extensive and composed by networks of events, entities, and interactions. Uh, allied to this complexity is the impressive amount of information that we are exposed to on a daily basis. Perhaps more worrying than the quantity is the repetitiveness of this information. These are some of the factors that make news consumption difficult. And it is precisely in order to simplify this consumption that we have explored the concept of visualization applied to news stories. In this work, we explore the use of visualization as a way to encode the narrative elements of a news piece in a concise and effective way without losing essential information. In order to explore this issue, we divided our work into three stages with different contributions. We started with a literature review to understand the most common ways of visually represented new, representing news. We then conducted exploratory interviews with journalists to understand their perception in relation to the application of visualization to the news context. And finally, we implemented a fully working prototype and validated this uh, solution with user studies. Starting with a brief note on the literature review. We carried out uh, literature review with the primary focus on the visualization of news narratives and with less emphasis, the visualization of narratives in general. The need to explore the visualization of narratives in separate is linked to the first conclusion that we drew from this study. That is, the visualization of news tends to favor high level analysis, which somewhat devalues narrative elements such as the interaction between entities and the relationship between the, the entities and the events. News articles are often aggregated into topics or themes which allow a broader view of the news landscape, but which discard the individual complexity of each textual artifact present in the input data. The, here are two examples, theme river and text flow, where we see these topics and themes visualized as rivers uh, views. Uh, two additional examples, cloud lines and lead lines, uh, which use pixel-based views to uh, show these high-level topics. Uh, but uh, there are some exceptions to this focus on topics, such as Storyteller, which seeks to explore the narrative aspects uh, of news. Storyteller uses a storyline view to highlight entities and events in a collection of news. Uh, Storyline visualizations appear frequently in our search, in our more specific search for narrative visualization, not within the, the context of news. Although the storyline technique uh, has already been applied to several domains, such as the synthesis of meeting transcripts and the synthesis of contributions to software projects, the exploration of these ideas is less common in the context of news narratives. Another technique used in the visualization, visualization of narratives can be observed in story curves. Here, the difference between story time, the chronological ordering of events, and narrative time, the order in which these events are narrated, is highlighted. Although our, our focus is not on this temp temporal di uh, dichotomy, it is important to highlight the fact that the times of the story and the narration of events uh, tend not to coincide. We highlight three key points from the literature review. First, that the visualization of news is often carried on a large scale, privileging topics and themes. Second, that the more complex narrative elements and details of news tend to be undervalued. And third, the use of storyline visualization in news is an interesting avenue of exploration one that until now has not been explored in great detail. 
Taking into account the information we have collected so far, the next steps will be guided by the previous mentioned premises. The use of visualization can help in understanding news narratives, and the literature review allowed us to identify a possible path of investigation. Storyline visualizations applied to new, the news domain where we can uh, highlight and uh, uh, give emphasis to more complex uh, features that exist within narrative. Following this literature review, we move now to the implementation of the prototype. The Newslines prototype was implemented based on existing open source framework called V3 narrative charts. Our prototype accepts structured data as input in JSON and visually encodes the narrative through the use of storylines. The user can explore the events and the entities that make up the narrative and apply a number of filters to observe the story from different perspectives. Newslines is published as open source software and available online in this link where you can directly explore and interact with the tool. Here is an example of the JSON structure used to represent the input data. We have two major sections defined, one section where the characters are defined and another section describing the scenes, including the characters that participate in each one of the scenes. User interface is composed of three main areas. The storyline view is the central element. It is the main area labeled with an A in this screenshot. The event uh, information bar on the bottom allows the user to access information about the event that is currently in focus, labeled B. On the right is the sidebar or information of, labeled with a C, which unlocks several filtering options. Here is a detailed view of that information hub for each story. It allows us the user to control uh, the entities that are selected, the temporal framing that is going to be viewed in the storyline, and the, the particular events that are going to be shown. Uh, upon selection of these entities, time frame, and events, the storyline is updated to reflect that selection. Also uh, worth noting is the possibility to export this storyline as a PDF. Let's now see an example. In this uh, video, we showcase the, the storyline about the Capitol Hill uh, attacks from January 2021 using our tool storyline uh, news lines. The narrative was prepared based on the timeline piece from the New York Times. And assuming that we don't know the story particularly well, we can start by scrolling through the events, reading the description of each one, and thus getting a general idea of this story. We can also consult events uh, individually. For instance, if we want to better understand which events writers and law enforcement participated in, we can select those two entities on the right side and redraw the storyline. We can also select a specific time range, for example, from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. and hide the, the events that do not belong to it. Again, the storyline will be redraw based on this selection. If we want to better understand the temporal distribution of events, we have the possibility to space them proportionally to their time stamps and thus gain a better understanding of the, most in, of the most interesting and intense interval in the story. If we want to send this uh, customized uh, storyline, we can export the PDF file as mentioned before. Next, we detail the evaluation of this prototype. So having completed the implementation, we've moved on to the evaluation. We organized two experiments, a user test with journalism experts and a general survey to potential end users. With user tests, we tried to gather feedback mainly for, of the, on the usefulness and of the features and suggestions for future development cycles. Our goal was to understand the essential and the, the not so essential features and, and not whether they were implemented in the most user-friendly way possible. These tests were more of an exploratory nature. That is, our objective is not so much the validation of the application as a final solution, but rather as a promising prototype with room for improvement. 
we started with a set of nine tests and, and uh, to represent the main features of the prototype. And at the end of each task, we asked the participants to provide a rating from one to five in terms of usefulness. Concluding these tasks, we moved on to an open exploration of the prototype, during which participants were encouraged to communicate and any opinions or suggestions that they might have. On the other hand, in our second evaluation study, we conducted uh, surveys to a larger audience, uh, a larger and more diversified audience. Um, in this case, we tried first to understand the, the reader's profile and then their uh, feedback on the application. We had a very small response time in mind, approximately five minutes. So we uh, designed a short uh, survey. The survey was distributed across the University of Port academic community and had, uh, and we received about 178 valid answers. The survey was divided into two distinct sections. One, we uh, targeting the participant's profile and the other targeting the prototype. An annotated screenshot of the visualization was included, as well as a brief video clip illustrating some of the possible interactions. So moving on to the, to the results from this user survey, nearly 60% of the participants consume news daily, uh, uh, consume news at least once a day, which indicates a considerable knowledge of the news landscape. When asked about the burden they feel, uh, or not with the amount of news they are exposed to. 57% um, of the participants provided a rating of three or less, which may indicate that the weight of this burden on the general public may not be as considerable as one we expected at the beginning of this work. When there are visualization in the news, about 73% of the participants rate their usefulness with a five or a four, thus demonstrating their value and potential. Moving on to the prototype section, the most valued elements were the events and the entities in line with our expectations since they were the central elements of the visualization. And then we have the descriptions, the dates, the locations, the occurrences, that is the participation of entities in a particular event, and finally the titles. These results are observed and consistent across different ages within our center. Approximately 61% of the respondents provided a rating of four or higher when asked how interested they would be in using the visualization. The interest in, the interest in editing the view uh, registered only 37% of responses were with the same classifications. This lack of interest was to be expected as the edition of the visualization fits more uh, the type of features uh, identified for uh, as, as useful for power users rather than the general public. Again, these results are valid across different ages. Finally, we collected 14 suggestions and comments that can be divided into three categories, positive, negative, feedback, and suggestions. Despite the interesting and usefulness of the prototype being recognized, the lack of accessibility and appeal was something that was mentioned in these user tests. Some of the suggestions include adding links to the original content and multimedia elements such as photos. We also uh, studied how the reader prof profile would influence the interest in the, in the application. In this sense, we chose to observe the intersection between news reading frequency and the interest in the prototype. Ratings are of three and four, for interest in, in the application varies significantly between participants who read news daily and participants who read news several times a day. Uh, this may indicate that readers who consume news more frequently do not benefit as much from these types of views, since their consumption rate allows them to follow the stories more easily. Furthermore, this type of reader may be more rele relevant to change their consumption process. In the first section of the tests, the, the features uh, that obtained the best ratings were related to the restart of the storyline, 
and the selection of entities. The comments made in the exploration section corroborate these uh, ratings. On the other hand, move an event received the most negative ratings, possibly due to the fact that participants did not find a clear use for this functionality for that particular story. Again, to stress, this is uh, on the experts, the journalists, uh, user tests. Uh, the last set of quantitative questions allowed us to conclude that journalists in general like the application and found the visual metaphor easy to understand. Regarding the useful or not of this tool for the general reader and for the journalist, the participants gave a higher mark to the use by professionals and due to the complexity of the interface. The comments made during the exploration are transcribed and processed using thematic analysis, and we organize them in three general teams. In positive feedback, we can organize and highlight three common themes the appeal and the interest of the visualization itself, uh, the way the visualization uh, allows the reader to quickly visualize who participated, when and where in a given narrative. And uh, it was uh, highlighted, it is a different way of uh, uh, seeing uh, things and journalists recognize its potential to help in understanding news narratives. However, they also mentioned flaws. Uh, one of them was that too many options are available, thus contributing to the complexity of the application. It was also unclear uh, the, wh what would some of the features provide, the interactive elements. And finally, um, the many possibilities that uh, were available also feel as, felt as redundant to some of the users. Uh, regarding the suggestions collected, they, they can be highlighted in three different groups. Those that seek to simplify the interface, those that seek to improve the usability and user-friendliness of the platform, and those that are related to the content available, namely adding photos, videos, and event descriptions. To end, we highlight the main conclusions and observations from this work. Based on the literature review, we concluded that works that address news visualization tend to adopt large scale analysis, which puts the individual complexity of stories in the background in favor of a more panoramic based view on topics and themes. Narrative use issues with the interaction between entities or, or causal relationships between events are not given much prominence. And regarding the, the visualization of, nav of narratives, storyline techniques have shown potential to be applied to the news domain. Um, the evaluation of the implemented prototype not only showed that the application of this type has potential to help the reader, but also to gather a set of suggestions that could inform future development cycles. Both the journalists contacted and the survey participants showed interest in a storyline visualization applied to the journalistic domain, thus corroborating the, permise, the first premise of this work. As main contributions, we highlight, we highlight the implementation of an open source visualization prototype, the evaluation of this solution and the analysis of the feedback and insight received from the user tests. As future work, you, we prioritize the development of user interface considering the gathered feedback, conducting new user tests with journalists in real world settings and they explore the automatic generation of input files from the text in news articles. And this concludes the presentation of news lines, an interactive web-based prototype designed to explore visualization of narrative elements in news stories. The, the prototype is available online and you can use it to explore a selection of predefined news timelines. Thank you for your attention.